If you have no idea how to get results like this, like this, deleted, 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 or like this, deleted, 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 or how about this, deleted, 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 then you're definitely going to want to pay attention because I'm about to show you how to create a dispute letter in literally just a couple of seconds. And we are getting started right now. Don't believe me? Well, this week it seems that seeing is believing it is basically the phrase that we're using. So this is letter file 180. It is actually included in the course. It's right here in the app. Okay, we're gonna go over the course in just a couple of seconds, but let's go and create that dispute letter in just a couple of seconds, all right? So this is fairly straightforward. We have name, email, data letter. We have some instructions. We're going to choose a bureau. We're going to choose a letter and there's a drop down with a bunch of things that you can choose from we can either put our own letter in here or we can use one of the built-in letters we're going to add a creditor so this is just going to be let's just say amex okay we're going to choose a um a letter excuse me a dispute reason from the drop down now i know you can't see the full drop down but there's uh quite a few dispute reasons in here we're going to choose this one i can add a, another dispute reason and we're actually going to do this in real time, but I wanted to show you just how simple this is, okay? So let's choose a different dispute reason. We're gonna choose a closing and that is it. We click on create letter, okay? All we're gonna do is we are going to copy this. We're gonna copy everything on this page and then we're going to go and drop it onto Word and you know edit it to our liking, put it into a spinner, whatever you would like. Now let's go back and do that again. So. We're gonna go and create a letter by scenario. So you can either create a fill in the blank letter. This is this one right here. So you're going to actually answer this, uh, answer the questions on here, right? So an example is what are you requesting? I'm requesting blank, this info taken directly from my credit report. And I even give an example, an investigation of or into, um, let them know where the inform information came from. I pulled my credit report on identity IQ and I found inaccuracies that don't match my records, so on and so forth. This is literally a plug and play letter. This one is a letter based um, on scenario. That's one that we just filled out. We also have dispute letter to the credit bureaus and dispute letters by round. So let's go do this live. Okay, so let's choose today's date. We're going to choose a bureau. Let's do Equifax this time. We're going to choose a letter. I'm going to choose this one. Let's go and put an account in here. We're going to put another account just so you can see that this is as simple as choosing what you want. We're going to click on this one this time. Check the box, create the letter, and that is it. Okay, this one is actually for inquiries, but hey, this is just an example. Credit name and address. This would be like Cap One PO Box One Three Four Five. Same, same zip. We're going to add some accounts here. This is going to be like account number One Two Three Four Five. We're going to choose a creditor letter this time, and then you can add your own. You can add a dispute reason if you want. Otherwise, you just choose a closing because everything that you already need is on here and you check the box and then you're going to create your letter. You see just how simple that is? So again, you can use a fill in the blank letter. You can do a scenario based letter. You can create one based on the round. Let's go check that one out. It's really, really straightforward. Again, this is Letterfy 180. It is $97 straight up by itself, but you can get it inside this course, which is only 149. So today, choose a bureau. Let's do TransUnion this time. Choose a letter. Now these letters are based on the actual round itself, such as round one, round two, round three, round four, round five, so on and so forth, okay? So you're going Going to paste your own letter here if you want. I'm going to add an account. Choose a dispute reason. There's a couple hundred in there. Choose a closing and that is it. Create letter. So again, you're going to copy and paste this, drop it into Word and edit and print. Okay, so this is part of the um, how to fix your credit report step by step for beginners course. This is in uh, this is part of the ultimate toolkit. So this is packed full of information for you that literally takes you step by step by step how to break down a credit report advanced credit sweep analysis and techniques 
I can't even tell you how much is actually in here. There are presentations, there are videos, there are worksheets, there's, um, you know, the full structure for how to write your letters using information from a credit report. There's downloads, the general formula training, fill in dispute letter training, um, in Word and PDF format, dispute letter training book, the bulletproof training, dispute letter creator. Um, I mean, this is literally packed full with everything that you could possibly need to understand step by step with a paint by number system how to take your resultless disputes and turn them into heroes or just on how to start okay this one literally shows you me writing a dispute letter using my credit report you know my sample credit report and it couldn't be any easier okay not only that but i give you a ton of dispute letters you're just going to click here under the letters and you're going to get access to the dispute letter library which is 197 by itself dispute letter sample dispute reasons that's 50 bucks by itself validation of debt uh, reply when accused of credit repair we have two different apps here. We have the CRM and we have the dispute letter app that I just showed you. Um, and then we have our bonuses and that is not it. I am adding much, much more. If you are ready to stop sending out disputes that are not working and start finally seeing deleted come back, kind of like this or this, or this, then I highly recommend that you check out this course right now. Sendme2.co forward slash toolkit.